All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his words, asserting in truth. Shalom. All right, I want to give a correction real quick. Um, a video I did earlier, Zoo break in in parentheses, Wild B shall change their places. All right, I took this video down because uh, it's not accurate. All right, somebody has sent me uh, these photos and, you know, I could have little, used a little more better discernment and uh, looked into it a little more, but I jumped the gun and uh, just went into it, you know, as soon as I see it, you know, because uh, it, this is prophecy, all right, that the beast, the wild beast shall change their places, all right, these things are going to happen, but according to this video and these pictures is not accurate, all right, so I want to make this correction here. In that video so for brothers who might have took that video and put on your page to share it and things of that nature just take it down Bible Kusha, you know just take it down because I took it down off my page you know it's not accurate so you know uh, typed in animals broke out of the zoo in Chicago there was a comment that came on the page from a, a guy I don't know if he's a brother or not but he said that it was fake you know then when I looked into it it was rumors and uh, just an hour ago they just address this. So, you know, here at Great Millstone, we strive for perfection, as the scriptures say, you know, and sometimes that happens, you know, doesn't mean that uh, it's not true. Is that, you know, sometimes it just need a little more research, a little more discernment and putting out certain things, you know, but it's cool. You know, I'm here to give the correction. No sweat. You know, we're going to keep going on and keep pushing this truth. All right. Now, you see a couple articles, CNN, uh, 5, Fox 5, ABC 7, Chicago Zoo says its animals are safe and accounted for after rumors for some, I ain't clicking that. It says uh, Lincoln Park Zoo dispels rumors of animals set free or stolen. All right, Lincoln Park Zoo not looted, animals safe, secure. All right, so, you know, just want to give this uh, quick correction. Uh, before the sit the sit down that I, I did earlier at the park and uh, just to correct that so I hope you were edified like I said again brothers who might have took that video to share and put on their pages just take it down it's not accurate and uh but it's prophecy all right and these things are going to happen okay so you know with that shalom Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word is sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz Wall from the GMS New Jersey camp. And, um, you know, this is going to be a lesson. You know, just want to exhort, you know, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, giving all praises and glory and honor. And all the credit, all right, for everything that be done here in this earth. You know, we wouldn't even be here to witness, you know, the downfall of Edom, the downfall of the wicked, if it wasn't for the Lord. You know, we wouldn't even be able to, uh, you know, live without, you know, the Heavenly Father, you know, creating us and making us to be who we are. And especially to be, uh, you know, one of the Lord's hopeful elect you know so you know i was watching i was inspired to do this show because i was uh listening i had a chance to catch up on a video today videos and i was listening to apostle rumblob and his uh sit down today and um you know he may mention a few times about you know apostle tahar said we need to give more credit to yahweh bashim yahweh shai you know and not eat him and um i felt that because, um, you know, e, Edom, Esau, you know, he's only able to perform wickedness through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now, for those who don't have understanding, you know, that would be a stumbling block. You know, so that's why if you have to hope for elect, you know, at least the Lord will uh, give you that understanding. Now, Esau, Edom, you know, he is made, okay, and was... You know created to be the wicked all right and the wicked does have its purpose in this world 
all right, is to ultimately give balance, all right? The Most High created righteousness, and he also created the wicked. And that's to give what? Excuse me. That's to give what? The ultimate balance, okay? Without a balance, you know, things wouldn't be right. Even in the kingdom, when Yahweh Shai come back, there's still going to be wickedness. You know, a lot of, uh, you know, you might not think, if you ain't too versed in the scriptures, you would say, well, you know, because a lot of these uh, churches goers, they think Satan is going to die. The Lord is going to fight against Satan. Satan works for the Most High. Satan is going to also be here in the kingdom of heaven. Okay. He has his purpose. All right. Satan just does the, he does the work, let's say the dirty work of the Lord. To eat the work that needs to be done for those that are wicked. All right. Because the scriptures tell you in, um, in uh, Sirach. Uh, in the 39th chapter, starting at the 28th verse, the Most High created spirits for the day of vengeance, and they appeased the wrath of him that made them. All right. So, you know, I just want to give all credit, all glory, honors, and prayers to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know, now, before I even read, uh, I have two precepts lined up. You know, before I read that, I want to get Isaiah 45 and 7. You know, this is for understanding for those who don't understand. This is the Lord. Um, all right, let me see here. I come back to Psalms 139. Let's get Isaiah 45 and 7. Isaiah 45. And let's start at verse, verse 5. Matter of fact, I start at 4. It says, excuse me, it says, um, Isaiah 45, verse 4, For Jacob my servant's sake, and Israel my elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have sure named thee, though thou hast not known me. I am the Lord Yahweh, and there is none else. There is no power beside me. I girded thee. Though thou hast not known me. All right. So the Lord letting us know that, look, man, there is no other power that, that counsels the Lord in making his decisions. Okay. There's no power greater than our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Okay. And the Son. So it says, verse 5 I am the Lord, Yahweh, and there is none else. There is no power beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. That they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, Yahweh, and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, do all these things. All right. So there it is, man. The Lord said what? He make peace and create evil. And right now we're in a time of evil. Okay. We're in a time of evil, which which turns into a time of judgment. Judgment. Okay. So the Lord is using Esau as his, as his whooping stick, as we call it. Okay. The scriptures say his sword. All right. To punish, to punish those that are wicked. All right. I can't remember where the scriptures are. I think it's in the Apocrypha. The brother Paul. If you see this lesson, not Abakashah, put the precept in the comment board. If you see this lesson. I know you always pull it out. The Most High created the wicked to destroy the wicked. Something around that nature. So can't think of it word for word. But I know there's a scripture on that. The Most High created the wicked to destroy the wicked. Something, something around them lines. All right. Well, anyway, it says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, do all these things. So we got to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. Esau is only performing what the Lord allow him to perform. And that's his agenda. That's his agenda of a new world order based, it, based on us being uh, turned into transhumans. You know, we merging with, with technology, all right? RFID microchips inside of our bodies, you know, nanobots do their syringes inside our bloodstreams so that they could GP, GPS track us. They could, they could listen to our heartbeat. They wanna be as though they the most high. And this is all performed to do the will of the Most High. All right. 
Now it says, verse 8, drop down ye heavens from above and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open. Let them bring forth salvation and let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, Yahweh, have created it. Okay. So all this wickedness is being done for a reason so that when the Lord dropped down, okay, the heavens, meaning, you know, not like what the churches think, you know, that we're going to be in the heavens somewhere and, and living up in space. No, when the Most High allow the order in the heavens, all right, in the fourth dimension where the Most High uh, sits on his throne and Yahweh Shah on his right hand side and all the order of the angels and obedient is going to be here on earth. All right. And we're going to live in righteousness through Yahweh Shai. All right. So, you know, with that being said, um, let me get rid of that. Let me go to Psalms 139. Psalms 139, verse 1. All right. It says to the chief musician, a Psalm of David, O Yahweh, thou hast searched me and know and known me. Thou knowest my down sitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou compassest my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Yahweh, thou knowest it altogether. All right, so there's nothing that the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay, doesn't know what's going on. There's nothing that be, could be kept secret from our power. All right. And King David is saying that, man. It says, thou compasseth my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, Yahweh, thou knowest it all together. Thou hast beset me behind and before and laid thy hand upon me. Search knowledge. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, I cannot obtain unto it. Whether shall I go from thy spirit, or whether shall I flee from thy pres presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. Okay, and what is that hell? This earth, man. If we're not in rulership, it's hell, man. Okay, when you ascend up in heaven, that's the spirit realm. So wherever we go, we're, we're attached to the Lord and the Lord is attached to us, okay? No matter where you go, the Lord is there, man. All right, so all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And you better believe it, the Lord is here. All right, he's not, you know, Yahweh Shai is going to appear with the angels. But just know that the Lord is here, man. He have his angels here, you know, in a celestial form where you can't see him. They're working on the minds of the heathens, on Esau, to make sure that he does his wicked deeds. You know, the, the, the angels of the Lord are around the righteous, making sure that they do their righteous deeds. All right. If I take the winds of the morning and dwell in the utmost parts of the sea, even there shall thou hand lead me and thou right hand shall behold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about it. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night sinneth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. Uh, all right. So that, that's basically the point. Now I want to get one more. You know, these are just two precepts that came in mind. You know, I probably could have meditated a little longer and put some other ones. But I'm just going in the spirit, man. Lord willing, I hope this lesson is edifying. All right. Giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. Uh, this is Psalms 30 and 1. A psalm and song at the dedication of the house of David. I will extol thee, O Yahweh, for thou hast lifted me up and has not made my foes to rejoice over me. All right. Who is their foes, man? Those are your enemies. All right. Scriptures say, when thou mother and father forsake thee, the Lord will lift thee up, man. Roughly paraphrasing. The Lord is there. So the Lord is not going to allow our enemies, you know, in this, and especially at this time, Esau, Edom as number one enemy. All right. And the rest of these nations and plus the two thirds, he's not going to allow them to do what? Rejoice over us, man. All right. Because the Lord is going to be with us. It says, O Yahweh, my power, I cried unto thee and thou has healed me. O Yahweh, thou has brought up my soul from the grave. Thou has kept me alive 
that I should not go down to the pit, you know, and we're going to be praising the Lord, man. All right. Some brothers, gonna, you know, I say all, all brothers, man, going to go through it in these hours to come, man, in this hour to come, the dark hour, you know, and, and no matter what, you know, when a brother uh, get through it and the Lord make a way for him to escape, he going to praise what? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right. Fulfilling Job, the fifth chapter. Okay, uh, fulfilling Psalms 91, you know, nothing shall come nigh thee, nor thou dwelling, you know, uh, Job the fifth chapter, say, uh, you shall be in, uh, uh, you shall be in the lead with the, the field, you know, uh, uh, you shall laugh at death, all right, the brothers is going to uh, uh, fulfill uh, these prophecies, man, all right, overall, the elect is going to praise Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right, that's the point, verse 4. It says, Sing unto the Lord Yahweh, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at remembrance of his holiness. All right? And we're the only ones, man. The saints are the Israelites, and particularly the elect today. Because we're the only ones that's really standing up against this evil, man. Against the evildoers, which is Edom. You know, being watchmen, calling out, pulling out the scriptures, edifying. You know, starting with our apostles and elders here at Great Millstone, man. And, and I got to say, other brothers around the world, you know, doing the scriptures, but there's a lot of agent camps. You know, I was seeing some videos today, man. You know, the brothers uh, put up the video where IURC marching behind those Freemasons. And when you look at the garment of the, uh, the Masons, you see the, 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 I don't know what they call it, around his waist, the, the symbol, then you see IURC. You, hey, man. And then, you know, the brother elder brother down in South Carolina, he pulled out uh, another clip, because I saw it on his show, um, uh, uh, Sakari camp in, in, uh, in Phoenix, pulling out guns on the Edomite, on a drunken Edomite, man. In my opinion, this is just agent camps. And these agent camps are set up by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah too. All right, to bring what? That persecution um, uh, amongst us, man. All right, amongst the righteous of the Lord. You know, these are agents, man, that probably been around for years. And now we're in a time in that season that uh, anarchy, chaos, sedition among men, you know, all this trouble, you know, it's going to happen. Better believe that they're going to pop their heads out, too, you know, to bring the trouble upon the Lord's hopeful elect. All right. And that's just my opinion on that, because that's what I believe. And I see it, you know, anyway, uh, back to the scriptures, Psalms 30 and 5. For his anger endureth but for a moment, and his favor and his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. In my pro prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. It says, Yahweh, by thy favor thou hast made my mountain to stand strong. Thou did hide thy face, and I was troubled. Alright, it says, um, Verse eight, it says, "I cried unto thee, I cried to thee, O Yahweh, and unto the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thou truth? Hear, O Yahweh, and have mercy upon me. Yahweh, be thou my helper. You know, because it's a reason why we're, we're alive, man. There's a reason why the Lord keep us brothers alive to edify. You know, Paul even got into that." Say so he was betwixt between the two. He would rather be with the Lord in peace. But he was it was needed for him to be here to teach the truth. You know, to go through the uh the things he had to go through. And now we're reading his accounts and his experience, which is really all our all our, it's gonna be all our experience, man. Alright? You know, it's what we learn from the the, the records, man. Alright. Uh verse eleven, thou hast turned for me my mourning into dancing thou hast put my sackcloth and girdle with me with gladness excuse me let me move this it says to to the end of my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent O yahweh my power i will give thanks unto thee forever all right all right so you know i hope this lesson was edifying i want to give all praise to yahweh by shimmy how shy and um like i said i was inspired when i was watching elder elder uh Apostle of Rumlob, all right, Elder Apostle of Rumlob, uh, video, he made mention a few times on how uh, Apostle Tahar said, you need to give more credit to the Lord, you know, 
And um, I, it, it, that hit me, you know. That's why I wanted to do this show uh, based on that, man. Because it's true. You know, we see Esau and his wicked plans, but that it, we're able to see it through Yahweh Bashem al Shai. And he's doing his job just as well as we got to do ours, you know. So all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem al Shai. All right. And um, give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole four legs. Shalom.